what's up you guys thank you for tuning in to today's video so of course by the title we are here to test out the new Huda Beauty luminous girl what is it called faux filter luminous matte concealer so I did pick mine up in the shade granola which is 4.5 golden now I do have Huda Beauty's original concealer here on hand um, this was the overachiever concealer so of course you can no longer get this one since this has launched um, but I wanted to just kind of do a swatch because I did have the original in the shade granola so that's kind of why I purchased that shade this time around so we are going to swatch the new shade and then I am going to go ahead and swatch the original shade So, the top shade is Granola from the new launch. And the second shade here is Over Achiever Concealer by Huda, which was their first concealer. So, I feel like the Over Achiever Granola was a little bit lighter. And it is definitely more creamier than the Luminous Matte Concealer. Um, so, that's kind of good to know or good to see but I did not want to do a side-by-side -side using both because I wanted to give a full dedicated video to this um, concealer also you guys in today's video I did go ahead and play with some new eyeshadow palettes so I placed another order on Beauty Bay I purchased this bright 2.0 palette and this is what she looks like in the inside. So literally every color of the rainbow. What I will say that I like about Beauty Bay's palettes, they always come with a black, sometimes a white, and then they still have like those brown or neutral shades, which I appreciate. Um, for some of us that are not necessarily the best at just going straight in with color shadows, it gives you the opportunity to have a transition shade before building and packing those colors on so I really do um, love that about their palettes I also went ahead and picked up the midnight palette which is all blues and purples oh my goodness like I can't wait to use that one um, I also picked up their pastels palette I saw I want to say Leslie Marie and Tatanisha use this palette um, in one of their like I think Instagram reels so I definitely wanted to pick this up because the only palette that I have with pastel colors is the glam light ice cream dream palette so I definitely wanted to grab something else and I think I only paid like six dollars for that palette when it was on sale but originally I think it's only like ten dollars so you can't go wrong with Beauty Bay last but not least I picked up the Techna Days uh, this is also by Beauty Bay this is like I guess a retro 90s type of theme palette so still kind of giving somewhat pastel, but this one also has shimmers. The pastel palette is all matte. So um, I think that is everything new. I am, I actually did use the new uh, Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer in today's video. I did pick up the shade number three. So I did use this one today. And then also, I finally got my hands on the LYS Cream Bron no Cream Blush in the shade Epic. So this shade was out of stock forever, and it is like a orangey red, like burnt orange reddish tone. If you've been watching me, you know how I feel about this color blush. So I do have the shades Humble and I believe Classy, which Classy is more of a peachy, everyday wearable shade. Humble, if I'm not mistaken, is just like a bubblegum, like Pepto type of pink. And so then I finally, like I said, got my hands on this one. So those are all the goodies that we will be playing in, in today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below of what you guys think about this concealer or any of the other products that I use in today's video again please go check out Beauty Bay for these eyeshadow palettes they are very 
much so affordable and if i'm not mistaken i believe 100 percent of the proceeds of the bright 2.0 rainbow palette goes towards um like the lgbtq plus community so um just something to kind of keep in mind but let's go ahead and jump into today's video all right you guys so starting off with the brows i typically do not like to do my brows on camera but it is what it is um it doesn't hurt every once in a while i did go ahead and use this hard candy precise brow pencil i did pick this up from walmart again this brow pencil was only maybe like five or six dollars this is in the shade black so it's not a true like deep black it's more of like a black brown but this is the shade that works best for me i honestly really do like this pencil it is very inexpensive i personally don't think that you need to spend too much money when it comes to brow pencils it's not necessary morphe has another good precise brow pencil as well as nyx and elf cosmetics so all of those are pretty much drugstore now to clean up my brows this is the nars um concealer inside of the little pot in the shade ginger this is the only thing that i like to use to clean up my brows i have not really found a good drugstore uh product that is thick like this to clean up my eyebrows but this is honestly all that I use to clean up the brows. Um, I have tried other concealers like the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's cool, but it just doesn't give me the same effect as this concealer inside of the, like the little paint pot, I guess you could say. Now to um, add a base, I did go in with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Base in the shade number two. So this is just definitely my go-to uh, base. I definitely want to get my hands on the Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow base. I heard some really good things about that one, so I will definitely be purchasing to check that out as well. Now, going in with the Beauty Bay Bright 2.0 palette, I do have the original Bright palette by Beauty Bay. That was like one of the first palettes I purchased. Um, this palette by them being bigger it's kind of hard for me to just show you guys all of the colors that i'm using i'm mainly going in with this um like mustard type of shade first i think it's called taxi in the palette um i then will go into my crease with an orange shade outer corner we are doing a very beautiful like hot pink and you will definitely see the pigmentation on that one and then um I kind of wanted to do another all matte look so I am going to go in my inner corner with a yellow shade. So just trying to keep it fun and cute when it comes to trying different colors. I buy all of these different color eyeshadow palettes and barely use them. I barely use a lot of the other different colors in here but I definitely want to start branching out and playing with those more. Um, I will say that the quality of Beauty Bay's palettes are amazing like if you could just see like there's no skipping no patchiness or anything when it comes to their mattes again the only thing i haven't played with is the shimmer shades in this palette but this palette is so pretty and for 25 dollars, you cannot beat it you get 42 shades for 25 dollars, and that is a mixture of mattes and shimmers so i highly recommend you guys go on their website and check them out i did download their app um which usually a lot of times in their app they'll have like different coupon codes so i think right now they have like 20 percent off so it is definitely worth it because beauty bay is like based in the uk it did take about two weeks for me to get these palettes nothing came damaged or broken which was really really good like that was a plus because you know sometimes when things are in transit for too long um yeah it could be an issue but I'm glad that everything came in one piece. No shadow was broken or nothing like that. So I'm very happy and pleased with the palettes overall. All right, you guys. So I'm taking this e.l.f. like glitter shadow. And I'm taking it on a Morphe M217 brush. So this is just to kind of add a little fun pop to the look. Um, nothing special, obviously. But I just kind of wanted to add this into the crease since we went in with an all matte look and definitely just again to kind of start using these glitter shadows whatever they're called girl I don't even know the exact name but yeah 
we're just adding some liquid glitter <laughs> up in the crease all right you guys so <clears throat> lashes is on of course again my fan is on girl look how frizzy my hair is it's too it's too hot all that so a primer that i have had in my collection that i honestly do not use is the milani chill out primer so it says it is a soothing primer wild oak extract plus ceramides silicone free the reason why i wanted to use this and put this to the test today even though i'm not going anywhere um it says that this is a satin matte finish so i don't remember seeing that on this packaging so i definitely wanted to go ahead and use it in today's video just to see how it works so it definitely looks like a silicone base once you squeeze it out and i'll just kind of i don't know if you can see it there so it does look silicone like silicone but it says silicone free so we'll see all right you guys so once blending this primer out it does feel more of like a gel based although it looks like a silicone base primer it does feel like gel onto the skin um i can't really say that this would be like a good drugstore alternative to like the new milk mattifying primer or even the smashbox mattifying primer but that would be a really good video to kind of put this to the test and see how long this holds up in heat compared to one of those primers so um which those two primers i have honestly really been enjoying and i'm very shocked that i've been enjoying them as much as i have and of course for the extra security i had to go in with my elf matte poreless primer because that is just a holy grail i'm really also trying to use it up as you can see i am almost done with this like just a little bit more and we should be done y'all the sephora by me does like home deliveries same day girl i was so excited so i finally got my hands on the blue sol de janeiro uh body spray the c and whatever one and then i did buy a full size of the milk mattifying primer i'm really liking it i really am all right going in with the huda beauty foundation this is their luminous matte foundation in the shade 350 golden so this is definitely a perfect warm tone shade for me like a yellow yellow golden shade um but i really love how mm, it's like it's not a drying matte and i feel like too mixed in with the primers that i used it's giving me a nice soft matte finish um without looking dry without looking very dry on the skin it does still have a little luminosity peeking through but um that could definitely be from the sunscreen that i used and now for the start of the show we are going in with the huda beauty luminous girl what is she called luminous matte concealer so kind of the same name as the foundation so the highlights of this is it's vegan it's a matte finish long wearing waterproof and it says full coverage um, it says it's a buildable creamy formula that can flex from medium to full coverage while it visibly brightens and conceals. It is fragrance free, long wearing, crease proof and made to move with you. So um, as far as highlighted ingredients, it says vitamin E and sweet almond oil, condition and care for the delicate under eye skin. So this is all of the information off of Sephora's website definitely a beautiful nice good medium coverage um is what i'm seeing i don't know if you noticed but blending that out was so very easy i truly do like this i love how it doesn't look like too much with using their luminous matte foundation um it could be the under eye balm that i did use i did go ahead and get my hands on the rim beauty um under eye cream okay so now i'm finally testing out this new charlotte tilbury girl what is it it is their beautiful skin sun kiss glow cream bronzer i do have mine in the shade number three which is tan this is hyaluronic acid long wearing cruelty free and it says it is best for dry combo or normal skin so pretty much looking like it's for all skin types 
you definitely have to go in with a light hand because it can definitely be way too much um so i had to go in with my beauty sponge and blend it but i love the texture of this i love i honestly love it it's not worth 56 dollars, but i like it So since we're on this Huda Beauty kick, might as well go in with banana bread to set our under eye, our T-zone area. This is, a lot of her products are geared towards matte. Um, I was very happy that she came out with the glowish uh, line for, you know, the ladies and gentlemen that do love the like dewy skin. Um, that doesn't work for me, so I'm going to stick with the matte girl. But now we are going in with the LYS cream blush in the shade epic first of all look at that color i noticed that the, the it just came back in stock on sephora i purchased mine off of lysbeauty.com all of my information is in the description box go ahead and use that discount code girl save 20 percent off but it is already out of stock on sephora so that just goes to show how long everybody was waiting on this to come back in stock because it was out of stock for a couple months but look at it like this this tone is just right up my alley i love 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 blushes that are this shade it's like a burnt orange reddish brick girl i don't know but i am here for it the formula is amazing and yeah you better put your name on that notify list to get it when it come back in stock. <laughs> so um, to set the rest of the face and to set down those cream products around the perimeter, we are going in with the Dior Powder No Powder. I am in the shade 4, what is it, 4W, I think. I think that's the shade that it goes by. But yes, this powder does not get a lot of love from me because I honestly don't see the hype about it. Uh, actually, I have the shade 4 Neutral. Just want to throw that out there. I looked at it. I don't get the hype, but you know, we, we gonna roll with it and we gonna use it because Dior ain't cheap. Now going in with the one size bronzer trio, which I am so once again in love with all of these products he launched. I did go in today with the shade medium dark just to kind of, you know, this is more of like my summertime go-to bronzer. I do have the shade medium for fall and winter months when i might not be as tanned so um i definitely pulled out my medium dark and just used the the top shade um and then for the blush of his we are gonna go in with fire starter which is of course that orangey tone so it kind of works and you know goes well with that epic cream blush from lys beauty For our highlighter, we're going in with the um, Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Champagne. Um, this is honestly one of the only things that I have from Physicians Formula is this highlighter. I'm not the biggest fan of like their bronzers or blushes because even for me, they don't show up as well as I would want them to, so I don't even bother. Um, and that's just me being honest i have tried like the deepest bronzer and it just it doesn't do it for me how i would prefer so going back in with the techna days uh palette from beauty bay i'm going in i'm just going to use that pink shade and just run that on a flat definer brush the brush in particular that i use is a morphe m432 so i just kind of ran that pink shade right on the lower lash line for the waterline, I did decide to go in with, um, I believe it was, let me just double check because I have everything still right here in front of me. It is the Pastel Dreams 
eyeliner by LA Girl in the shade Sunshine. So that is what I use to go on the waterline. It is a yellow pastel, but um, it does kind of look or come off white and you will see that once I apply it. For mascara, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess and Sculpted. Uh, this is the purple one, the Sculpted Volume Mascara. And then for lip liner today, we are using the Makeup Forever um, Artist Color Lip Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown. Um, for the liquid lipstick, we are using, this is by Juvia's Place. This was a part of their holiday collection. This is in the shade Self Love. So it is a almost like a pinky nude shade. And then over top, we are using this Revolution Glow. Uh, this is a collab they did with Rachel, Le I think it's Rachel Levy. This is the Shimmer Bomb Lip Gloss. So it's like a golden uh, shimmery gloss. So I just wanted to go ahead and use that over top. I don't know if it's still available or not on Ulta. Um, if it is, I will definitely link it down below. To set the rest of the face, we are doing the one size onto Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Girl, it's like spraying hairspray on your face, but this stuff is actually really good. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. This is the final look. I am really, really loving the eyeshadow palette. Like, honestly, the blend was beautiful. I do like the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. I feel like you definitely have to go with the light hand because it could get, with that one, it could get muddy very quickly. I had to put my hair up because I did not want to be rude and leave the fan on. First of all, my hair is already frizzy, so that's just what it is. But I didn't want to have the fan blowing again in y'all ear in this video, so I turned it off and I am hot. Like, I cannot wait till you're done with this. Um, but in regards to the palette, like, it's so huge to where I wasn't picking it up to show you guys what color I was working with, but this is the pink that I put like on the outer corner and it is in the shade Shook. When I tell you this palette is a must have. The only thing that I did not play with yet in this palette are the shimmer shades. So I am very excited to continue using these Beauty Bay palettes that I have. Um, as far as the LYS Cream Blush, I did go in with the light hand but the color itself is gorgeous. The formula is soft, it's buildable, it's beautiful. As you can see, I did go in with my loose setting powder first, um, you know, mainly in my T-zone. I went in with this and then I went over top with my Dior Powder No Powder. But this is just truly, hands down, a good formula. What I love about LYS is it is so affordable. I love that so very much. Um... Other than that, I think that was really the only thing. As far as the Huda Beauty Concealer, if you have not purchased it, I highly recommend. It is not as creamy when you first apply it as her original concealer, but it's not dry on my under eyes. So, um, one thing I will also say I went in with today, I got my hands on the, I saw a lot of people talking about this. Um, and my local Ulta had it. It is the Rim Beauty, uh, what is it called? Full Night Sleep Cooling Blurring Under Eye 
cream no under eye balm so you can use this morning and night and I don't know if this had anything to do with the application being so smooth or not but again this is my first day using this so um, I have to continue using it especially with other concealers to see how it works but my under eyes to me look just fine um so i'm here for it i'm here for the concealer definitely worth it the eye cream so far i have no irritation or anything like that i don't really have sensitive skin so um but yeah i think it's made for sensitive skin if i'm not mistaken but definitely go to your local ulta and check that out see if they have it in stock or um definitely online but that is it for today's video you guys thank you so very much for tuning in i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one take care bye